Hello, Mili. Hello, teacher. Yes, good evening. It's nice to see you again. Okay, so how are you today, Mili? Okay, I'm well. And you? I'm fine too. Thank you for asking. Okay. Um, what did you do? Why are you late in class? Um, I in the morning I do I learn about the math and English. And in the afternoon I go to food. Um, my school in the afternoon don't learn, but because I learn to attend IOE. Ah, yeah, I see. Okay, did you eat your dinner already, Mili? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> your, is that your brother? Yes. Okay, he's so cute. How old is your brother, Mili? He is two years old. Ah, okay. Does he know now how to speak? Yes, he can speak English. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Okay, so now, Mili... I'm going to read this one and you listen to teacher because we are done with this. So let's have a short review. Okay, last weekend, I went to the countryside. My father drove the car onto some grass between two trees. We all go out and walk to a field there. I took a picture of some funny black and white sheep because I love farm animals. Then my father shouted, look behind you. So I did. I saw a big horse. It was very near to me. I was afraid and ran to the river and jumped in. My parents laughed. The horse doesn't want to hurt you. It's a nice horse, my mom said. Your clothes are wet now. Take this towel and here, give this nice green apple to the horse. The horse ate it. I was hungry too. And I enjoyed our picnic by the river. We had three different salads, my favorite cheese, and some watermelon. Okay, so did you understand the story? Yeah. Okay, so now, Mili, you're going to choose the best name for the story. And you tick the box. Can you please read the first choice? Okay. Walk. Well King on the farm, the new swimming pool, the horse at the river. Okay, so what's the best name for the story? Can you please speak, Mili? The horse at the river. Okay, that is correct. Very good, Mili. So now we will proceed with our part five. You're going to look at the pictures and read the story. You write words to complete the sentences about the story. You can use one, two, or three words. Okay, so before you read the example, Mili, can you please look at the picture? What can you see in the picture? In the picture, the girl name is Daisy, and she is standing next to the bus stop. It's not okay. a bus stop, it's a hard bus stop. And yes. she is wearing a yellow t-shirt and blonde trousers, and she is wearing a orange shoes and she's holding a two backpack okay she has, she has a curly hair 
Yes, she is holding a two handbag. Okay, so can you please read the story? What a nice old woman. My name's Daisy. I'm 10. Last holiday, I want to see my grandma. I live in a small village by the sea. I like it there because I can swim and play on the beach. I went to buy, I went to grandma's by bus. First, I went with my mother to the to the bus stop at the end of our street. I I caught I caught the number three bus to the big bus station. Station. Okay, very good. So thank you for reading the story about what a nice old woman. So now, Mili, here is an example. Daisy is 10. Daisy's grandmother's house is in a small village that's near the sea. Okay, in this example, in the first blank, we write one word only, which is Daisy. In the second example, we wrote three words, with, which is a small village. Okay, so now, Mili, do you, do you understand how to answer part five? Yeah. Okay, very good. So now, um, Millie, you're going to answer question number one to three. Okay, you read and you write your answer. Okay, Daisy likes, can you please read this one, Millie? Daisy likes to swim and play on the beach. Okay, how about number two, Millie? Daisy? Okay, very good, Mili. Can you please read number three? Big. Big bus station. Okay, very good. So now, Mili, let's check your answers. Are you now ready to check your answers? Yes. Okay, for number one, Daisy likes to swim and play on the beach. For number two, Daisy got on a bus at the end of her street. Very good. Number three, the number three bus went to the big bus station. Okay, so very good, Millie. You got a perfect score. Okay, so there is still a continuation for the story. Can you please read Then I have to catch another bus, the number 20. But I was hungry. I went to a shop first to buy a chicken sandwich and some lemonade. When I came out, I 
So the bus stopped. I ran and jumped on it. I sat next to an old woman who take a lot. I was very hot and went to sleep. Then I woke up. I wasn't in my grandmother's village and village I was in a big town. Okay, very good. Thank you for reading that one for me, Millie. I can see that you are a fast reader. So that's a great job for you. However, there are only three words that you mispronounce. So I want you to repeat after teacher AM, you say talked. Talked. Okay, next, when. When. And village. Village. Okay, so now, Millie, I want you to repeat it on your own. Walked. Talked. Talked. Very good. When. Okay, great job. <laughs> Village. Okay, well done, Millie. So now, did you understand the continuation of this story? Yes. Okay, you're going to do the same with numbers four to seven. You read and you write your answer. Okay, hello, Mili. Can you please read number four and write your answer? What did you say, Milly? Yes, Milly, do you have any problem? Okay. Okay, very good, Mili. Can you please read number four together with your answer? Oh, wow. That, yes, that was too long. Okay. Chicken sandwich and some lemonade to eat because she's hungry. Was hungry. Okay, very good, Millie. Can you proceed with number five and write your answer? The person next to Daisy on the bus was on. Old woman. Okay, very good. Can you please read number five, Millie? 
The person next to Daisy on the bus was an old woman. Okay. For number six, Daisy slept because it was blank on the bus. What's your answer for that? Daisy slept because it was hot on the bus. Okay, very good. For number seven, I think this is the last number. Okay, what's your answer here, Millie? When Daisy woke up, the bus was in blank. When Daisy woke up, the bus was in a big town. Okay, so now, Mili, are you ready to check your answers in number four to seven? Yeah. Okay, let's check. We have Daisy bought a chicken sandwich to eat because she was hungry. For number five, the next, the person next to Daisy on the bus was an old woman. Daisy slept because it was not, it was not, ah, it was hot on the bus. Okay, when Daisy woke up, the bus was in a big town. Wow, great job, Millie, because you got seven out of seven. That is a perfect score for you. Are you happy with your score? Yeah. Okay, so it makes me happy too. Oh, there is still more on this story. Okay, I was on the wrong bus. You listen to me? I was afraid. The old woman said, what's the matter? I told her my story. We got off the bus and she phoned my grandma. Then she bought me another bus ticket and took me to the right bus. The one that went to my grandma's village. Thank you very much, I said. Okay, did you understand, Millie? Yes. Okay, very good. Here for number eight, can you please read and write your answer? Okay. Very good, Mili. You proceed with number nine. The old woman phoned my grandma. Okay, how about number 10? The old woman got a blank for Daisy to go to the right village. Can you please write your answer in number 10, Millie? Yes. 
The old woman get a Okay, so now Milly, I want you. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Is this your final answer in number 10? I don't know. Okay, so are you now ready to check your answers? Yeah. Okay, so for number eight, Daisy was afraid because she was on the wrong bus. Very good. The old woman phoned Daisy's grandmother or grandma. Okay, for number 10, the old woman got a bus ticket for Daisy to go to the right village. Okay, so now, Mili, I want you to read numbers 8 to 10. Daisy was afraid because she was on the wrong bus. The old man phoned Daisy, her grandmother. The old man got a bus ticket for Daisy go to the right village. Okay, thank you for reading that one, Millie. So far, your pronunciations are all good. In this task five, you got nine out of ten. Okay, so that is almost perfect score. So now, Mili, let's proceed here. In our part six, you're going to read the text. You choose the right words and write them on the lines. Okay, we have an example here. A lot of people are very afraid of snakes. Okay, can you see the box on your right side? Yes. Okay, so this is your choices. We have numbers, okay, example zero, this is off. Okay, how about number one, Mili? What's your answer for number one? Can you please write? Okay, that's R. How about number two? They. Okay, how about number three, Millie? Okay, you continue with number four and five. This is number five. I'm sorry. Okay, what's your answer for number four, Millie, and five? Four and five. Can you please write your answer? Okay, so proceed to the last to the last number, Mili. What's this? What? Ah, in. Okay, so now, Mili, let's check your answers. We have, okay, are very good. They live quickly and in. Wow, that is a perfect score for you. So now, Mili, I want you to read this text. Can you please read this text? Um, 
Okay. Lots of people are very afraid of snakes. They think all snakes are ugly and want to hurt them. But this is wrong because some snakes are very beautiful and they don't hurt people. Snakes often live in the grass or in forests. Some of them eat meat. Some snake can climb tree very quickly and they can swim in rivers. You must always be careful with snakes and don't must and your mask here never pick them up okay very good Millie thank you for reading this one can you please repeat this word you say mice mice okay when we say mice those are white um it look like also it look like a mouse okay or a rat but they are white can you imagine the image of a mice yeah okay so can you please repeat this word also must must okay so what's this Millie? Can you please read this? Very good. How about this one? How about this one, Millie? How about must? <laughs> okay, so I think <laughs> my student is still teacher AM. <laughs> okay, why did you change your name in Zoom, Millie? Teacher AM to Teacher AM. Hello, Teacher AM. <laughs> okay, do you have any question to me? No. Uh, yeah. I, okay, so what's your question, Millie? Uh, you see in my name. I mean this one squid game yeah squid game okay so did no. you watch the movie squid game no is this all right let's get number yeah gangnam style 2012 okay so do you know how to dance gangnam style yeah Okay, can you please show teacher how to do the dance? <laughs> hoops, 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 hoops. Opa Gangnam Style. Yeah, that was so famous during 2012. Okay, so do you like that um, song, Gangnam Style? Do you like that song, Millie, Gangnam Style? Hello, Millie, can you hear me? I like it. Ah, yeah, okay. Do you know how to do the dance of that? Uh, I don't know. Okay. So now, Millie, before we end our class, okay, before we end in this unit, do you have any question to me? Mm, you can see in my, <laughs> in my camera. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, IQ 2000000 zero, 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 millions of zero. Okay, what does it mean, Millie?
I O E I Q two hundred. What the what 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 do you mean with that, Millie? Is that your I Q? Is your I Q two hundred? Don't know how to read I Q. I know the two hundred. What what's that, Millie? What's how do we interpret two hundred in your name in Zoom? I Q two hundred. Mm. Okay, so now, Mili, do you have any questions? Mm, yes. Okay, what's your question? Uh, you like my baby brother? Yes, I like him so much because he's so cute. And he can speak English. Oh wow, I think your brother is an intelligent. Okay, so what how uh how old are you, Mili, when you start learning English? My brother and um, don't speak uh, my brother can speak English, a uh, mommy, daddy, uh sister and brother. Ah, yeah, only few words. How about if I will talk to him in English? Can your brother understand teacher AM? He is in the dining room and I'm in the living room. Ah, yeah. Okay, so who teach your brother to speak English? Is it your mom or you? Mom and I and a teacher in her in his school. Ah, okay. So your brother are is studying in his school. Do you have the same school with your brother, Millie? Yeah, do you have the same school with your brother? What's the name? What's the name of your brother's school? I don't know how his school. But how about we, but I uh, I'm three years old. I go to the school my brother learning. Can you please repeat me, Lee? Are you ah uh, okay? You can type that one so that I can understand you. Yes, what are you doing, Millie? Are you typing? Yeah, I'm chatting. Okay, I'll wait for your message. I'm chatting. Okay.
I am three years old. I learned to he I'm learning to his school. And now he is learning in here. His name school is Kwak Te Halong. Ah, Kwak Te Halong. Okay, so I'm going to send it to you back. I am three year when I was three years old. Okay, I'll You can write like this. When I was three years old, I learned, I learned with his school. And now he is learning there, there. The school's name Okay, so can you please read it again, Mili? I corrected your sentence. When I was three years old, I learned with his school, and now he's learning there. The school's name is Poke Halam. Okay, very good. So, um, thank you for sharing that one, Millie. So now since it's almost time, let's sing this goodbye song. And after this one, we will end our class. Ah, wait, wait, wait. So, okay. So before singing this goodbye song, can you please stand up, Millie? Yeah, you need to move, move, move while, say, while singing this one. Can you please turn on your camera, Millie? I I want you to see. I know. I want. Uh, okay. So now, Millie, let's sing this goodbye song and let's clap and step our feet and move around. Okay. Bye bye. Goodbye, bye, 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 goodbye. I can clap my hands. I can stamp my feet. I can clap my hands. I can stamp my feet. Bye, bye, goodbye. Okay, so thank you for singing with teacher A.M. Mili and for joining our class tonight. Um, we will end here. Okay, so hello, Triangle. It's nice to see you again. Bye-bye. Goodbye, Mili and Triangle. Bye-bye. I will end now, Mili.